research question. Is there a significant impact of misuse of chemicals for bed bugs to the human health? Hypothesis, none. There is no significant impact on misuse of chemicals for bed bugs to the human health. Alternative, there is significant impact in misuse of chemicals for bed bugs to the human health. So again, mapaprove lang natin siya through and valid by conducting a further investigation through scientific methods tulad ng data collection and statistical analysis. So yung mga pinakita namin research titles and research hypotheses, um, what do you think is the indication of this? This only tells us that hypotheses help us answer the, will help us to translate research problem and objective into prediction of the outcome or result of the study. So as a researcher, kailangan ma-determine natin kung yung hypothesis ba natin ay accepted or not based sa findings or result na makukuha natin sa ating study. Type of research hypothesis. Simple hypothesis, prediction of the relationship between two and more variables, the independent variable, independent variable. Example, the higher the power to range in society, what independent variable? The higher the number of balls built out of Korea, what dependent variable? A simple hypothesis, ay mas pinasimple pa kasi sa hypothesis. Dito ba ang analysis guide to the project?
punta na ito na may significant change, uh, effect, differences, uh, and relationship yung independent variable and the dependent variable. For instance, my shock. My shock improves during the time when I sleep 8 hours a day and sleeping 4 hours. So, this only shows us that the two variables has a significant relationship to each other. So, in an attempt to disprove a non-hypothesis, we try to see an alternative Okay, since we already done the hypothesis, let's continue to ask the hypothesis. Hypothesis can be classified into different. Directional and non-directional hypothesis. So, what is directional hypothesis? The original hypothesis is used by researchers to predict the positive and negative outcome or changes in relationship and even the differences between two variables, the independent and the dependent variable. The example here is students who are in a previous school have higher grades than students not having properly. The independent variable here is the previous school and the dependent is the grade. This example demonstrates that there's relationship between grades and nutritious, nutritious food and the direction of the relationship is clear. It is not. <laughs> to have proper meals is a higher grade than those who don't. Direction from directional. The directional hypothesis dapat may clear and specific direction na identified. Dapat may pakita dito na kalinaw yung relationship at pati na yung effect ng independent variable sa dependent variable at para malaman na na-predict ang outcome. Sabi ko nga kanina, ginagamit ko to predict outcome. Pero um, sa directional, hindi lang siya basta-basta pwede nyo lang or hindi. You can use one tail of test. Ang pero na nakalimutan nyo yung one tail of test, ito yung result from our alternative hypothesis na tumutukos sa isang direction lang. Dito yung sample mean is either greater than or less than, pero hindi sila pwedeng maging both. So yun, you can use one tail test sa directional hypothesis and you should also base it on past researches, accepted theories, or literature related to your study. Hindi lang basta-basta mga hula, dapat yung magiging outcome mo may credible, may credible or reliable source. While it's not directional, um, ginagamit dito sa pag-predict. Pero dito, um, yung relationship lang tsaka yung effect ng two variables, pero wala kang sinasabing specific direction. Example here is, there are significant differences in the average grade between those who have a proper nutrients and those that do not have proper nutrients. In this case, dito yung um, yung dalawang variable, which is nutritious and yung grace. Pero wala kang sinabi ang um, direction compared dun sa directional na sinabi na yung students na kumakain ng tama, yun yung nakakuha ng grace. Tingnan directional hypothesis. Kung sa directional, one tail test yung gagamitin. Sa nang directional, two tail test naman. Ito yung may dalawa ng side, which is left and right. Um, to make uh, everything much easier and clear, sa directional ko, mistake yung differences, yung effects of two variables, at yung may relationship at nagbibigay siya ng specific direction. While sa non-directional, binibigay niya lang yung effect at relationship ng two variables. Okay, nang bibigyan ta. Uh, flowers that you will produce 